morning guys welcome to my vlog my name is sims m and if you're new here welcome if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch another video i am excited to bring you guys a new vlog it's a weekend vlog but i'm not sure if i'll be able to upload it on sunday it might come out on tuesday because on sunday i'm attending my friend's birthday and now, Lampanor, I'm looking quite professional, quite good, quite, you know, all things right. That's because I'm attending a work event. It's a Mother's Day event. It's a high tea. And the theme was floral. So I tried to do some magic, you know. Um, but yeah, the theme was floral. And I'm waiting for my friend. She's coming to pick me up now. And then we're going to go to work. I'm going to show you guys now what I'm wearing. And yeah, I'm gonna change shoes to heels later and then I'll show you guys the full outfit probably at work. But for now, I'm actually wearing this thing that looks like a top. But it's actually a dress. It's actually a, what do you call it? A maxi dress. And I just felt like it's not summer, so it, it's not appropriate for me to wear a mixed dress. So I folded the dress and made some magic. And then I'm also wearing a pink blazer because I feel like it elevates the look. And then I'm wearing a pair of jeans. You will see the full look when I get to work. That's why I need to get a full length mirror so that I can be able to show you guys outfit of the day. I'm also wearing flops right now, but I'm gonna change that for heels when I get to work. So. Yeah, I guess I will see you um, when I get to work. She's putting all our, our cars down on the table Knowing there's no way that you'll be able to win this one But she's somebody else in the making First, she's just gotta stop all the faking But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll go Hi guys, um, I hope you guys are good. I am back at home. I know it looks like it's a different day. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I don't know if I still love wearing makeup as much as I did. I don't know. Uh, but the first thing I did when I got here was to literally wash my face. Um, but I do think that the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation that I was wearing was quite tight because that's like a mattifying foundation and it's for people with oily skin and I have dry skin so in summer I do get away with using it but now it was just so difficult 
anyway i got home i changed washed my face and i feel a bit better i am feeling hungry now because it's about it's late actually it's about three o'clock in the afternoon i am feeling a bit better um i'm feeling hungry actually i feel hungry and i ordered something from muchachos so i'm waiting for my food to come and also waiting for my son to come back from school he comes back a bit late now because we started wait nala I'll, I'll give you okay wait ne? he comes back late from school now because he started using school scholar transport you know before my men used to take him to school but because of obligations um, and the fact that our car is also not okay we've opted to use scholar transport i really don't enjoy it because my son comes back super late which is really frustrating but we said we'll use it for this nala let me talk please okay maybe you can play in someone's bedroom yeah go go Anyway guys, yeah, so I thought I should update you later on today. I am going to be going to do some groceries now because we don't have the car with us. It has become quite difficult to do that with the kids together. So usually when we go buy groceries, we go together or our weekly groceries, we go together. But because now we have to use Uber, it really sucks, you know, um, and you can't go from one store or one mall to the other or one shopping complex to the other quite easily so i think i am going to go alone however my men went to check where they fix cars if they can fix the car so if he comes back with the car then we will all go to go buy groceries but if he comes back alone then i will go buy groceries and do some errands Tomorrow is going to be a busy day, so I have to do all my errands today. So I will take you guys along with me if I do that. But yeah, the work function was actually quite nice. I enjoyed it. I loved it. It was so nice. It was also quite nice to see my friends um, and just chill with them. And yeah, so coming back, I had to continue working. So I am about to finish. I'm just waiting for my lunch to get here because the, the only thing that I ate today was those finger foods. So yeah, I'll see you guys when the food comes here or later. I'll just show you what I ordered. I'm not really a Muchachos fan, so we'll see how that. Also guys, I don't know if you guys notice something different about me. Tell me if you notice something different about me. In the morning, I actually forgot to ask you guys. Right now, comment if you see something different. If you think something has changed about me, how I look. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. If um, you said it, you said it. It's my gold tooth. Or it's the gold tooth I had. It's off. I went to the dentist. Remember last week I told you guys that I was gonna go to the dentist. I couldn't vlog that because that day my phone was dead um, and I couldn't really take the camera. I couldn't really take the camera but yeah I actually went to the dentist, got it removed. It's something that I have been wanting to do for a very long time. Um, you guys don't know this. I got my gold tooth when I was in grade 8 somewhere there <laughs> i was very very young and the reasons for getting it i actually regret it um i got it because i was trying to yeah i, I really can't get the into the reasons but apart from those reasons it was just on trend back then that you know when you have a gold tooth you cool or hey no not the they're all in an medical age <laughs> So um, I got it and I didn't really have a problem with it um, and even later on in life I really didn't have a problem with it until I moved to like Joburg Gauteng and I just felt like there was a lot of misconceptions. Just hold on. 
Yes, you don't know what. Just wait a little bit for me, ne? so dirty guys i don't know why i'm eating here by the couch to be honest i really don't know and i regret it but yeah so i got the gold tooth for all the wrong reasons but i really didn't really feel bad about it or regret it until i moved to this side and realized that there was a lot of stereotypes actually it's not even misconceptions but stereotypes about go to then whatever and it's fine you know I get it I get it and you know I get it and I just was not comfortable anymore with it and later on then it stopped being about the stereotypes it was more about me just wanting to get my smile back how it was and yeah I'm just happy that I was finally able to do that it's something that I wanted to do years ago but um, I only prioritized it now this year it was part of my goals I know that's weird but it was just something that I really wanted to do I think now I'm more happy I'm more comfortable to talk with people without feeling like I'm being judged and yeah so You'll be seeing a lot of this smile on my channel and I'm not sure if you guys are aware even on my Instagram like I wouldn't really smile a lot I wouldn't really show my teeth because I just felt like people would judge or read something something anyway guys I'm just gonna eat and then I will see you guys later hi guys um, I'm very exhausted I'm sure you guys can see but I'm going to pack away the groceries that we bought um, from town. We just got back. So I'm going to pack that. I'm not going to talk and show you guys everything. You will just see as I pack our weekly, bi-monthly bi groceries. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. And now I'm losing sleep.
Said yesterday was a lot. I was doing just a lot of stuff and I'm tired. Anyway, I woke up, washed my makeup brushes only today. I cleaned a portion of the house, a big portion of the house, because I didn't want to leave Bongani with the kids and a dirty house. So I cleaned a portion of the house and I took out everything that I need um, so I need to just pack it in the bags I will do that shortly right now I want to go make myself something to eat I've put the kids in the bathtub I also need to wash them I have about like an hour before my friends come to get me and yeah I'm not gonna wear any makeup I think I'll do my makeup when I get there and yeah i just want to make sure that i leave with the kids washed the house clean and everything in order because i suffer from i'm someone who suffers from mom guilt where whenever i'm away from home i always feel like i always feel bad i always feel like i'm needed and i have to be at home and 
why am I out having a good time? What's happening at home? So I'm trying to sort of prevent that feeling by making sure that I've taken care of other things. You know, I feel like I'm still doing my part even when I'm not here. I don't know if you are someone who suffers from mom guilt, please comment down below. They were actually talking about it at a a work event yesterday that we shouldn't allow ourselves to suffer from mom guilt um, we should take care of ourselves and make sure that we are okay fill our cups have a good time as well enjoy life and not just feel like you always have to be in your role of being a mother or when you are abs when you're away you are an absent mother you're not um, oh the exposure is too much I just wanna fix it Okay, I'm making it worse. Anyway, guys, um, with, without wasting any time, I am just going to go make myself breakfast and I will talk to you guys when I'm done. I'll see, I'll see. <music> This darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees Oh from China Mall, these, um, it's from, they're from a store called Take Me Home. So I actually thought I wanted to use them to dispense sugar, milk, you know, coffee, all of that, but I don't like how they look. So I think I'm gonna repurpose them and use them for a completely different thing. So it's a set of three of these. I don't know if you can see, but it's just simple containers and then they have this uh, wooden lid. I, I don't like the fact that they don't close properly, so they are quite, you know, they're not stable. So it's three of them. So they also have this wooden um, tray that you can put them on and then they came with little spoons like this. And then yeah, they look quite nice, but just they don't fit what I'm trying to create So I'm just gonna change my tea station and maybe use them to store my different teas I'm gonna do that with you guys now quickly. I don't have much time So I'm gonna use this Rebus Focus Tea it has masala spices and turmeric. I'm gonna use my green teas and then I'm gonna use this LM LMC tea. I got it from work from the function um, I attended yesterday. So, I know my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the darkness starts to fade. Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back Gonna let the past stay in the cold I will listen to the ocean Let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried by the waves Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly
and it's so hot uh, it's an all-white party so I'm gonna show you my dress and this is my makeup Sunday today it's Mother's Day I just want to say happy Mother's Day happy Mother's Day to all the mothers happy Mother's Day to all the aunties and just everyone who plays a motherly role to any child um, you are special take care of yourself be kind to yourself be gentle with yourself you deserve to be happy you deserve happiness you deserve kindness you deserve love and I really hope that you get to spoil yourself and take it easy today. I woke up with so much gratitude, you know, gratitude for being a mother, gratitude for having my kids in my life and the trust that God has put upon me. I feel like it's a blessing. Um, I feel like it's a blessing. Yesterday I was having conversations with a lot of ladies who are here and they were talking about their stories and their journeys uh, when it comes to fertility and I realized how big being a mother is and we take it so for granted we always feel like ah, okay it's just something that you do but we don't realize that we've been entrusted by God to execute this role to lead someone's life well so I think I have a new appreciation for being a mother and it's actually amazing it feels amazing anyway guys um yeah i hope you have a good day today um nothing much is happening we are going to be checking out at 11. however we are gonna go and have breakfast and yeah i just needed a cup of coffee my voice sounds a bit bad because yesterday was so much fun um but yeah um I'm looking forward to the day to going back home and the mom guilt is not really with me I'm not really worried about my kids and anything and maybe it's because I left prepared you know um, I am looking forward to seeing them but I'm not really um, stressing about them so yeah I guess I will see you guys um, a bit later actually I do think that after breakfast I am going to be closing this vlog, but we will see. 
yeah uh. I'm tongue tied, twisted around your finger like a piece of string I'm winded, chasing after your ghost is real exhausting I'm in love, but I don't think it's what I thought it was supposed to be Love story, no cuts and no glory How did I get so dizzy? Thinking of you, I don't usually get like this. It's something about you I miss. Could it be we never had that kiss? Well, I don't usually get like this. Get like, get like this. because I am hungry um, I'm so grateful also you know that I'm coming back home um, to a home cooked meal Echisang which is I've already changed and I'm already in my mother role um, feeding Nala feeding the kids excited to be back home so yeah I'm just gonna close this vlog right here if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up subscribe share comment down below let me know what you liked about it and i will see you in the next one bye